Hello Rifters, welcome back to New Retro Arcade and this is part 2 of my playthrough through this whole arcade hall because we got so many games to play that I couldn't even make it in one video. That's how awesome it is. So let's keep playing this game in games or game gameception. It's like gameception because there are games in a game. That's like pretty cool. So yeah everyone, let's just continue with our marathon through this arcade hall. We are gonna start with um, Missile Command. And uh, this is going to be an interesting game because I searched up on the internet. And as far as I know, you have to destroy missiles that are getting shot on your city. So that's what you have to do. It's kind of easy. Like, the gameplay is also really easy. And that's what I like about retro games, you know. They are so easy. But after a while, they are getting so hardcore. And that's what I really like. Is this Egypt? Because I see a lot of buildings that look like it's from Egypt, you know. I don't see any camels as far as I know, but... That seems legit. No camels in a game. So yeah, you just have to uh, destroy or jam the missiles. And that's basically it. And after, uh, well, they are getting harder, you know. And if you destroy some of the uh, rockets, they can even split in two rockets and make it even harder. And I can't shoot anything right now. That sucks. Oh, wait. I got another... Oh, I got another weapon. This one. This is a little machine gun, I guess. So yeah, that's uh, Missile Command. This was a short gameplay, I know. Oh my god, they even have a Doom Arcade machine. Well, you can't play on it, but this is really cool. John Carmack worked on it, and he's now working with Oculus Rift. And it's really cool, like Doom. Oh my god, it's great. You can even play that with the Oculus Rift as well, uh, like in a first-person way, you know. Not on an arcade machine, but you can do that as well. Okay, so the next one we are gonna try is... Uh, Galaga Midway, or oh, wait, Galaga and Midway made the game, okay. So let's see what this is, I don't know this one, but I'm curious. Galaga, interesting, oh we got a little spaceship, game, one player, yes, let's do it. Okay, what is this, what is this? Oh wait a second, oh this isn't that hard, we have to kill spiders and other creatures from space. I don't know, it looks cool. It's so simple but so much fun and I just killed myself. Doesn't matter, let's try a, another time. We got so many lives in this game. Oh shit, I already died again. Okay. <laughs> I can't move anymore, people. I think I just died, yeah. There we go. Okay, let's just stop with this one. Oh yeah, I also want to say that I saw a lot of comments in my part 1 video where people said like, hey... Your video is squeezed in. That's because I'm editing my videos on a, a weird way. I know, I'm sorry. And I'm really working on a fix. Because there is a converter. And then you can convert your uh, VR games into a normal video again. So I really have to look into that. And try to, um, well, try to uh, fix it. Uh, you know what that means. Can I pick it up? I guess I can pick it up, yes. There we go. Oh, whoa. It's like so, in my screen, like, boo, you know. <laughs> Okay, um, I need some light again, again, yeah, again, I know, oh, this is the perfect light. Okay, let's see, what kind of game is this? Show me the money. Oh god, I just skipped the part where I could see where, what kind of game it was. Can I go back? Is there a way to go back? Whoa, that's my flashlight, that's not good. You can use a flashlight as well here. Well, if someone knows what kind of game this is, let me know that in the comments because I have no idea what it is and it's really small. I can't really see this. I don't know what it is. Oh, wait a second. Oh, God, no, no, I dropped my Game Boy. Oh my God, I'm always dropping my Game Boy. This, this looks like a fighting game. I don't know. Oh, I killed someone. Cool, cool. So if you know what kind of game this is, let me know that in the comments. It would be nice. Oh, we can keep going on. This is like the most extreme game I've ever played. It's that exciting that I'm almost pooping my pants right now. <laughs> okay. And the music stopped in the arcade hall, by the way. Spooky. Like, did someone just turn everything off? I don't know. So this is like a fighting game. And you have to keep going into the scene. Because you are going further and further into this level, I guess. So I'm just gonna stop with this game as well. 
Like dropping your Game Boy like that would kill the real Game Boy, you know, in real life. But dropping here is like YOLO. You can even throw it away. No, you can't. You just drop it. So you can also play bowling ball here. And as you can see, there's even a scoreboard. And that's like amazing. This game is so detailed. It's crazy. You can even see how uh, fast your ball is going. Yeah, that sounds like that's what she said. I know. But uh, let's try it out. Let's see if we can make a strike. You don't have to throw it with your head. Because that would be a little bit uh, Nintendo Wii uh, kind. You know, that wouldn't be that much fun. So you just have to push this button. Like this. And I just... Through a strike, I guess. Yes. Whoa, disco lights, cool, cool. Oh, that's not that fast, but okay. Let's do it one more time. I'm I'm so pro at this. No, I'm just like aiming at the middle of my Oculus Rift or like screen. Let's try it again. Nope, nope. Like always having the. Whoa, whoa! I just threw a two bowling balls on the ground. Well, it isn't real, so there's no one who is going to say like, Hey, Nate, you're not allowed to do that. Oh, no. Okay. Well, well then uh, let's keep going. Uh, well, this was the bowling ball part. And it looks really nice. Like, playing this on a multiplayer, that would be amazing. Is that like a bottle of beer? Can you even throw that as well? Wait a second. I think that's working, right? <laughs> Oh, it works. Yes. Cool. Well, if you want to play uh, uh, beer bowling, then uh, be my guest. Uh, let's keep going. So we had some arcade machines there. Oh, Pac-Man stuff. Neon stuff. Looks really nice. We got even movie posters here. Empire Strikes Back. Great movie. Like, I see Chewbacca there, right? Hey, Chewbacca. <laughs> like that. I can't even do the impression, but it's so much fun. And this is Predator. Oh my god. It's also an exciting movie. Like, those old movies look really good compared to the movies we got now. Like The Hobbit, you know. They look really good. So, um, we got a phone here. And someone on my video said, Hey, you can put the phone uh, back into the uh, system here. Like here. Oh, wait a second. And then something happens. There's a, like a tape spawning. And in this tape, you can just... Start up the tape into um, this tape recorder or like boombox. Let's put it in there. Did I just put it in there? I didn't. Wait. Oh, I got music right now. Cool. So let's keep going, people. Um, the next thing we're going to play is uh, this game. This is a V Rally, and first I thought like, hey, this is VR Rally, you know, virtual reality rally, but it isn't. It's just V Rally, but would be cool if it would be that name, you know. So we're gonna play it on English, and we're gonna play the uh, arcade. Wait, we well, have options here. What? That's amazing. Speed display. Cool. You even have a password on it. Well, I don't want to. Let's just go back. Arcade. Let's uh, get a nice car. Mitsubishi Motors. That sounds uh, good to me. Me Medium. Hard. Okay, let's play on easy then. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Let's see. 3, 2, 1. How can I... Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's always like the question, uh, how can I uh, steer and stuff like that. But this is going pretty well. I love the race games, they are looking like this. But also if you have like um, uh, race games where you... Whoa, what, what happened? I just crashed into someone else. But race games where you can look from above, you know? That's also really fun. I, I played a lot of uh, Refold. I don't know if you know that game. But it's also a race game that you could play with little toy cars. And you could do like Mario Kart items and stuff like that. Really cool. Refold. If you ever want to play a game like that, then Google it. It's, it's a great game. I'm not sure if the graphics are that good anymore. But back then, it was like epic. The graphics were epic. Serious. Okay, well, let's stop here for now, guys. I want to thank you for watching, of course, again. And uh, part 3 will soon be up as well. And then we are... Going to continue our story into this epic arcade hall. It's like great. So that's it guys. I want to thank you for watching. And of course let me know what your favorite arcade game is. Like what is the best game you ever played. That is like really old school. So let me know that guys. And um, as I always say. And I see you guys next time.